Hey everybody, welcome back to my snow cave. I'm so man, your host as always. To the observatory for what he hopes is the final time. The man feels anticipation and dread in equal measure. Soon, he knows he will have what he needs. Yeah, this this might be just a slight reverse from where we were last time. Um, but it didn't save. <clears throat> but it's not like we're going to be go we need to go, you know, we were that Hello, far. Hello, I was expecting you. I've already taken care of the imaging array, but you should still look into securing the primary coolant flow. With some luck, some luck, you may be able to light the area before these things even show up. Hallelujah. Thanks for tuning in for the second part of our interview with Serena Valdivia and award-winning photographer Alice Wake. Now, Alice, we were talking about your husband, Alan Wake. Uh, is that a sore subject for you? Well, a little bit. Of course it is. The way I see it, we had our good times and our bad times, and on the whole, we had a lot of good times. He really made me happy. I don't mind being reminded of him. So you're, uh, you're over him? <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever be that, entirely. I still think about him every day, literally. I still find myself hoping for, well, sometimes I think I see him just standing somewhere, watching me. I think most people who lose someone they love experience things like that. But on the whole, I'm doing all right. Two years is a long time to adjust, and I'm not really the type to wallow in the negative. Well, I know there are a lot of stories about Alan. He seemed to have something of a wild streak. Um, that's not really what our show is about, though. Look, all that stuff really gets blown out of proportion. Probably. He had his problems. <clears throat> but it's really frustrating for me because people like to talk. They love to tell these crazy stories, and they never really knew him at all. Well, the character he created, uh, Alex Casey, is a household name. Uh, the books still continue to sell. There's been talk of a TV series, a movie, a video game. Must be nice to know that his work is still being appreciated by so many readers. Yes, of course, but I don't really deal with the business side. I leave that to Alan's agent. Oh, uh, that would be Barry Wheeler? Actually, I just interviewed him. Uh, he's currently in the music business. Mm-hmm. And he's also Alan's best friend. Uh, do you two keep in touch? Or? We talk regularly. Like I said, he handles the business side. I think we should talk about her film. Yes, yes, of course, you're right. I'm Eddie Rodman, talking to Alice Wake and Serena Valdivia, and we'll be right back. Uh, so I'm wondering if every time we jump back, <clears throat> we we move closer, you know, like speed up in the air, some of these areas that we're actually getting different parts of the uh, the interview when we hit when we get it on the radio. Uh, hey, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, two came out. One was killed. Oh, great. That would be why. Forgot about the second gate. Yeah. Kind of ducks. Was supposed to be a safe spot for me. 
Well, I should say I thought it was a safe spot for me. And I have no idea why this is so much darker tonight. Yes, I've washed my face. That's not the reason. Um... <laughs> Oh, uh, douche! One! In the middle of grabbing something! Flare! Out! Nope, I had to die. This game is learning. It knows what I'm gonna do before I get the chance to do it. It's right because this is the third time going through it! Returning to the observatory. Okay, we can uh, we can we can skip time. this part. Thank the you. The man feels anticipation and dread in equal measure. Soon he knows he will have what he needs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just get out of the car. Now let's do this. I mean, I wish there was a way to sp skip this part again. Hello, I was expecting you. I've already taken care of the imaging array. But you should still look into securing the primary coolant flow. With some luck, you may be able to light the area before these Thanks for tuning in to the second part of our interview with Serena Valdi. Uh. Photographer, Alice Wake. We're talking about the flow. You had the darkness on you. It should have still pushed you back. See anybody there? But Let's grab the extra ammo. It's really frustrating for me because people like to talk. They love to tell these crazy stories. Come on, I want to go out the door. There we go. That's right. The cool thing is in here. <laughs> Completely forgot. I believe we're ready to look into the sky. Yay! Be right there, Doctor. Oh, shit. This... Yeah, I think we did some of this... Or did this happen, like, last time, too? In the previous run. So yeah, I think I'm, I'm referring to run number two. Because I distinctly remember that column being knocked out. No, I don't think I do remember this, because that guy wasn't there. I took a shotgun to the knee. That's why I'm no longer an adventurer. 
<laughs> All right, yes. A little play on something else. All right, so... Was that the atmosphere in the projection booth drive-in was charged. Weird. Almost unreal. Despite that, the air felt cool and refreshing this late at night. It had been a hot day. The summer was nearing its end, but it wasn't over yet. Oh, those are good days. All right, so I'm missing three pages. The film noir poster reminded me of Alex Casey, the detective's cool exterior never cracking even with the gun pointed in his face. In the back room, all the lights had been turned off, except for the lone spotlight which illuminated the bright red fire extinguisher on the wall. Yeah, these are for the observatory, so I don't understand this why act I'm of creation up here. is exhilarating and frightening. Subtext and symbols loom eager to take effect. Causality and consequence become domino chains that stretch into infinity. The more fundamental the change, the more unpredictable the variables become. Reality is too complex to control completely. Ordinary questions become meaningless. Who created who? What is really real? Everything is as real as everything else. You learn to let go of the things you can't control and go with the flow or go insane. I gotta tell you, reading, having these, like, reading and hearing these pages being read, it's some profound and just WTF kind of stuff. If you uh, guys want, when the, if I've been lucky enough to get all the pages, I can read through literally in order of the list, because hopefully they actually go in that order when read. Um, I can do like, you know, like a short episode on just like reading all the manuscripts. Manuscripts. I can't even speak English. Okay. Let's see if we can just kind of move quicker here. I gotta regain health, but I want to see if I can't find the last couple missing pages. So we're gonna go up around the lo slightly long way. Alright, okay, I'm gonna go this way. Cause, uh, yeah. I was just told, hell no, with authority. Right. After my go. disappearance, they thought I was dead. I might as well have been. I know it's been two years. I know Alice has moved on. I've tried to find a way back to her, back to my life, but escaping the dark place is almost impossible. Time does strange things here, but dreams and radio signals can pierce the veil between the worlds. I catch glimpses and echoes of the world. Sometimes I send messages out. I can only pray that they hear them. Maybe that's what's in the satellite. Is there anything on this backside? That goes back to the parking lot. And that's just a clip. So, we can't go that way, apparently. So, like I, so like I said, I am... Like, that's probably the quickest way. Oh, yeah, you know what? I don't think I can go the other way, because I think that truck's blocking the other side. Of course, blow them out, but so I can't get anything more time. Oh, upgrade. Definitely like this one. Really? Son of a bitch.
And that's how you take care of a bunch of jackasses. I need some ammo. Oh, there's a page over here. What wasn't there? Uh, oh, there's the page. The man before Dr. Meadows was handsome and slick. He moved with lazy confidence and didn't bother to pretend that he wasn't staring at her. Yeah, she didn't mind fast. at first. Then the man flicked open the knife and shoved her out of the control room so she wouldn't hear the signal, whatever it was. Outside, she pulled her lab coat closed and thought about running. She didn't. She didn't think she'd get very far. Not from him. She never was entirely sure why he spared her. Probably because he didn't. she didn't run, which is probably a good thing. How was that? Oh. Oh, it's just a thing. I thought it was ammo. That's unlocking the hunting ground. Oh. Yeah, no. I'm keeping this, thank you. Just want to see if that last page is around. This shotgun is so badass. Right, now I really need ammo. <clears throat> and there's that stairwell up to that side. But I think I can maybe get into here. Damn, I forgot the door's on the other side. Yeah, see, I couldn't get through that way. All right, I'm gonna go up the stairwell. Yeah, I can see I wasn't wanting to go there. Alright, so I'm gonna go up these here. Oh, wait. Flickering ammo. Yes. I'll take some of that. I just hope the last page is somewhere nearby. Well, we can try behind this building. I don't think we got close enough to the back side. Ugh, 40 pages. So worth it. And I, you know, like I said, I thought it was odd that, like, hey, you need 40 pages in the first two levels, but you get just enough to do it. Hey. It's called the flare. How about you come on out and play? something useful. Oh, flashbangs and flares galore. Oh, there's a party. Right? There's nothing else I can get. I'm going to have to go up to the... Oh, there's some little random small packs of ammo up top here. And I think i got to shine my light. There's some... Flare good. And that's the ammo pack inside. Isn't there a gun crate here? No, 
because that's the side I just came up. All right, sorry, I I know, I know, I'm <clears throat> I'm delaying the inevitable. Inevitable, inevitable. And that's the dogs in it. Dominoes. Alright, we got the TV. We gotta watch the TV. See how messed up he really is. What the hell are we looking at? This is what you look like. Does that bother you? I bet it does. I'm not just wearing your face, you know. It goes a lot deeper than that. There's a lot of you in me. All the best parts. Yeah, right, Alan? Look, it was okay. just an idea. But they kept telling all those stories about you. You already had that rep. And then you disappeared mysteriously. And then the stories about bad, crazy Alan Wake came true. And here I am. That's the best part, isn't it? When that happens, you can always count on Cauldron Lake. <sighs> I'm just as real as you are. And I'm the improved version. How do you know? No fears, no doubt, no weaknesses, no self-deception here. I don't let anything drag me down. I know you like I know myself. I know it bothers you that I'm like this. That I use your name, crawl my way into your life. But I only do it because... I'm better at being you than you ever were! With all those things taken out, you could never be the same as Alan. You know why? Because that's the stuff that probably made him great with his writing. His worries, his fears, all probably went, in that, went into his writing. I don't know, you know. Alright, can't carry any more of that stuff. Back to this shit again. Come on! Now you're coming them down the stairs? Having them come down the stairs. Wow, I can't speak English. Too. That's straight bullshit. You can't just like randomly just spawn behind me like that. Oh, what the? Thank you. 
have been some good timing to do that. Ah, where did you guys come from? That's what I've been waiting for. There I have it. But I wish these things would stop blatantly violating the rules of physics in my observatory. That's are you all right? I'll live. Alright, I can't think of I remember our previous encounters very clearly now. But technically, if this really is a loop in time, we've never met before. I don't know why our awareness persists, but it's bloody fascinating. Yeah, I think this is going to be one I'm going to miss the page. I may have missed it one of the previous runs, which might be why. Which would suck. Doctor? You know, I know physicists who would give 15 years of their lives for a chance to experience something like this. I'd imagine that being stalked by horrible axe murderers would curb their enthusiasm a little. Clearly you've never met hardcore physicists. I'm glad you're in such good spirits, but... The signal! Yes, it's completed! Finally! If all goes well, this should be the last time we go through the loop. You know, I just realized that I don't have any memory of what happens after you leave. What does that mean? I don't think it means anything. If everything goes well, you just keep going. I don't show up here like this again, no more bad guys, things go back to normal. Let's hope you're right. I'd love the opportunity to look into this in more detail. Looks like you've accepted the situation. I'm a pragmatist. If this is a delusion, at least my first psychotic episode is anything but boring. Really, Mr. Wake, at the end of the day, I'm a scientist. I love mysteries. I love not knowing. Whatever else this might be, it's absolutely fascinating. I wonder how far this reaches. Is everybody in the world experiencing this? Who knows? I think reality's probably pretty fragile right now. Doctor. I can see you're very enthusiastic about this. I'd appreciate a bit of discretion. Are you suggesting that we should suppress this? No. You can do what you like, but I want you to leave me out of it. But surely, with the things you know, the things you've experienced, you can replicate any of these results. We could- Let me be blunt. If you drag me into this, I'll deny everything. I'll lie like my life depended on it. And writers are damn good liars. Word of advice. This is things man was not meant to know territory. You get into this, chances are you'll open up a door Dude. to a world of hurt. Believe yeah. me, I know. Look at her when you're talking. Don't look at the computer. You see that? He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I want to talk to this over here. All right. Well, we know what's going to happen now. In a strange way, he feels at ease. He is armed with his own words. And when the time comes, they will be enough or they will not. For now... He's content to let the currents take him toward the final confrontation. Once more, we return to the drive-in. If he's aware of the absurdity of arming oneself with a few sentences and standing against a power that can pierce time itself, he doesn't show it. The hell? The man has his share of weaknesses, perhaps more, but cowardice is not among them. Okay, folks. Um, you want to explain how the hell I pulled into here? It's fenced off on three sides, and there's no access road behind the fence, it looks like. Alright, there are five pages here. Let's see if we can at least get four of them. Oh, sweet Jesus. This oh, thing again. you got yourself a plan, do you?
I blew one of you guys away. And of course, we can't skip this part. Once more, we return to the drive-in. Sorry, I can't skip through it. The I've hit every button on this a few sentences and standing against a power that can pierce time itself. Oh yeah, look at it. How the hell did he drive show. in? The way it looks like it came from the, the man cliff has side behind of weaknesses, perhaps more, but cowardice is not among them. I'm gonna do the flashbang. Maybe save a couple of shells. Oh, you got yourself a little plan, do you? riding my butt. Oh uh, yeah, we'll go this way. I keep forgetting I can actually like drop a battery in my flashlight. Alright, now we don't have to worry about it freaking doing that stupid thing again. The ammo's inside. Oh, I can't use that, but that will be the next. Why does this look like it's been set up differently? Yeah, well, that wasn't there before. Last time spiders came in, so... Wow, I got lucky there. I literally, I think it was probably like right there in my face. mess with me. I got a new shotgun. It needs its practice. Hmm. Let's see if we can go around this way. I 
I'm gonna say that's a no. <clears throat> Last time I think there was something. Oh, it might have been a page. seeing anything here so let's just get a move on. Uh, there he is. You're never getting out of this wake. Never. Don't worry. I'll take care of your wife and your life. Yeah. Bangs. Good to use. Especially on those guys. Alright, I unlocked the rifle. Okay, yeah, that's blocked off, so I gotta go this way. And there should be ammo in that building. The light keeps flashing. Yeah, right where that just blew out. I don't know what you think you're doing, but I'll send you right back to the beginning. Is that one of the pages? I think I saw one behind me too, but I think that's up higher. All right, what do we got? When the dark man's eyes suddenly locked into Serena's, she flushed hot. They ignited a black fire in her. He was talking. He wanted the power turned off. He said something about the projector booth. She hooked a finger under his belt buckle. He grabbed a hold of her throat and twisted until it hurt. Somewhere deep inside, a part of her screamed in paralyzed horror. But the moan that escaped from her throat had no panic in it. Pay attention, he said. Business first. His eyes glittered shamelessly. Hers did too. None of that's right. Well, unless it's something you're into, you know. Which is wrong. Should not be forcing people to do shit. Well, he's a villain. Of course he's going to do evil stuff like this, huh? Let me get a No! Oh. What? You think whatever it is you're going to do is going to make a difference? This will end up just like before! Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a difference. I'm packing a shotgun. Combat style. I am a bad at pages right here. There's more to fighting the Taken than just burning away the darkness that protects them. 
When I'm fighting for my life, I find myself slipping into a state of intense concentration that makes the beam of my flashlight seem more powerful and focused. I used to think it was just my imagination, something brought on by the adrenaline and fear of death. But now I'm not so sure. I've been touched by powers that I can't begin to truly comprehend. And they've left a mark. I'm starting to think this might be a part of it. All right. I've been around for a while now, you know? Well, you've been indisposed, stuck in the darkness. I've been busy. I operate in the shadows. Not always literally, you understand? I'm a little more resilient than those I've taken. But I do my best work in the dark. Yeah, because uh, I want to see Ugly Mug. And there's so much darkness out there. It goes deep. And the things that live in it are vast, big bastards. Like leviathans? They don't mind getting a little bit of elbow room. All that chaos and madness. It doesn't really do that much down there. It's like pouring a glass of water into the ocean, right? But up here? Yeah, you can really make an impact. All they need is someone to bring them all the way through. But first, I had to take care of you. You party pooper. Oh, good God. You're stuck in an eternal cycle now. The sun's never coming up for you. Oh, I think we made it different. Everything reason. else? Do my thing, get a bit of quality time with Alice. <laughs> That's a little something for me. And I deserve it. Is he trying to go Hannibal Lecter on us? That? No, no, no. No way in hell. That is the worst Lecter attempt from a, a villain I've seen. Oh, sorry if you're hearing chiming my tablet. I forgot to turn the volume down before I started recording. I think somebody's been trying to get a hold of me. Or it's just notifications or something. Alright. With all your luck, we're just finishing this, so this one's pro this episode might just run a bit longer. I mean, if something else happens after this and it's restarts, oh my god, I have no idea what to do. Oh, oh, there's a page. I need to get to it. Oh, there we go. Ow, I just got hit by a cactus. Thank god you don't get hurt by him. I held the film canister in my hands. I saw her name written across it in big letters, followed by the title. It was a time capsule, moments snatched from times gone by, from a past that I hoped could also be our future. It was my salvation, our salvation, our chance to be together. A tin can with a bit of magic in it that she didn't even know about, something I could put to good use. There were only moments left before I had to face him. Film can? Okay, it would make sense to use it at the drive-in, because you kind of use those those kind of projector, uh, film projectors. Oh, wait, wait. I see it out there. Oh, God, I can hear her in the room. The clothes I wear now I shaped from dreams and memories. It's an old outfit, originally from the 90s. The last time I wore it was when I was still riding and Alice and I took a vacation in the desert before our troubles began. The night before, we'd been at a party, and I had dressed to the nines. On that lazy day, I put on these old clothes, worn and comfortable. 
Alice made a joke about grunge. I felt a little embarrassed, but I stuck with them. We were very happy. I'm sheathed in good memories to remind myself of what is at stake. Oh, good God. But come on, everyone's got a pair of comfy clothes that are just, you know, they're worn. You know they are, but, ugh. Sometimes it's just better than anything else. Hello? Housekeeping? I want to stock up on ammo from here. Yeah, like that. Flares? We got problems. Hello, folks. For the third part of our pre recorded interview with Serena Valdivia and renowned photographer Alice Wake. So, uh, tell me about the film. It's called Sunrise, and it really wasn't something I ever thought of as an actual film. It was just footage, things I saw and happened to shoot. It's not a medium I'm very much at home with. You shouldn't put yourself down. You've got a great eye. Maybe, but experience is another thing. Because you're primarily a still photographer. Yes, exactly. So I'm really used to thinking of the world in terms of snapshots. I frame something and try to pick the right moment, and then reveal that moment to people. Moving images are a different story. I'm still learning a lot about it, to be honest. So, this is a new thing for you? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a slow learner. But showing it like this is definitely a new step for me. It's a little weird taking something this intimate and showing it to everybody. Not that the material itself is somehow shocking. It's just that those were private moments. But that's why it works. Because it feels genuine. It's not so much a story as it is a sort of an echo showing us how you saw your husband at the time. It's not really about the sunrise itself or Alan watching it. It's about you two together, I suppose. Romantic funny, type things. Looking at it now, especially now that it's been edited like that, it takes on a life of its own almost. It's a kind of a fantasy. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. No, you're right. I'm glad you talked me into it. Nice. It sounds like it'd be something cool. Huh? Well, simple thing, you know. Sometimes the simplest things are the more most important. <clears throat> Where is it? get a chance to do anything. You're just going to barrel the ass end me. With Serena Valdivia and renowned photographer Alice Wake. Uh, All right, no, we already heard that. It's called Sunrise. And it really wasn't something I ever saw. That was bold. The thing didn't even like pop. You couldn't I didn't even see it pop up until it was already up.
go. I laugh that the last page was actually in there and I just haven't noticed it because I was fighting all these things. Yay! Keep hitting the wrong button to move. <laughs> Enter access code one one three four pi Again, delta. Again, the champion of light enters the final trap. The new reality is almost here. All he needs to do is change the details of the scene, push it past the breaking point, and the rest will snap into right, place. So. All right, there was that. There was this. Poster was the recent thing. Uh, the lamp to the fire extinguisher. And late summer night, no more poster. Alice film was in the projector. See, I wanted to get the other ones done. Alright. Uh, where is the film? Death rally. <laughs> I don't know where to look. I just figured let's look at that. You know? Thought maybe the film would come. Oh, out. come on, buddy. Why don't you. Happy ending? What? What is this? No! No! You can't do this! type thing before. Oh, that is a nice scene. And the closing. Is it, is it really you? It's really me. How? for far too long, enveloped in the light of a glorious dawn. They both feel it. He's home at the Are these actual events or merely a dream, a memory or a glimpse of what is to come? One thing is certain. This scene takes place in another time and another place, far, far away from Night Springs. Welcome to the scary door, or Twilight Zone. Well now, we completed Alan Wake. This, this one's probably running longer than I meant it to, but I knew it was getting close. Oh, I anticipated, hoped it was getting close, which it did. <sighs> but yeah, that was actually pretty cool. I mean, I missed, like, 
two pages? One here, one at the drive-in, and one at the observatory. So that might have been a page I might have missed from previous run-throughs. Why are you stopping? My system is acting up again. Ugh. Yeah, see, that's why it's, like, moving slowly. And so is my talking to you. You might hear me better, but the video is just getting glitchy. Ugh. I'm trying to come up with a way up. Um, try to procure some money so I can try to get a better system because this is not a gaming system it's like an older style you know desktop and uh, I think I really gotta try to get it you know, either hopefully get my original gaming uh, f system fixed and upgraded or if it's too far gone I'm gonna have to buy, try to buy another one which I'm still I figure out how to get some money together if anybody's got any ideas on how to maybe consider doing it, put it in the comments. Let me know. Because, I mean, you know, a better system means better quality videos, and I might actually be able to do a couple of things I've been wanting to do for a while. Stop glitching. It's only the credits. Black background with white words scrolling up. It's not like, you know, the explosions of, you know, the guys when I'm shooting them. Ugh, so. Yeah. Now I've played the first Alan Wake, and I thought it was really cool. I got it for the piece. I got it on my Steam account. I never, I didn't realize there was a second one. I kind of thought this one was. So apparently, I'm, I personally am missing something in the middle, between the end, end of the first one and the beginning of this one. So I'm gonna have to try to get my hands on it in some form or fashion. Maybe I'll try to find it on the marketplace or whatnot. Um, so yeah, looks like I'm going to have to come up with something else for next Tuesday. Uh, Thursday, which will be May 4th, uh, 2017. I'm just going to date it in case someone's watching this in a couple of years from now. Um, it should be an interesting day in general. I've got something going on, so I might be recording earlier and making sure it's up. I, I should really try to do these earlier in the day so that way they're they're up. Um, but I kind of tend to, you know, if you've seen some of the ones I've done earlier, like this door here is like radiating light. And I don't understand why like the blinds and whatnot are not concealing it better. So <sighs> if you notice too, I had a chair here. I finally got rid of it. <laughs> I usually throw my stuff on it, you know. Everyone's got that one table or chair. They just take their stuff and just drop it on it and deal with it later. Like I have like my backpack from when I'm walking around town to run errands, shopping, you know, whatnot. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to hopefully maybe figure out something for that. So that way when I record earlier in the day, it doesn't look so, I don't look so holy. You know, I, I'm sorry, I got horns. I don't have a halo. Well, I've got Halo 1, 2. <laughs> yeah, bad joke. Um, so. Uh, it's going to continue? Is there something else after American Nightmare? No. Ow. Is that, is that bear poop? Well, I, remember, yeah, I guess that's definitely it. I was wondering if there's going to be something after the credits. Most games do. But, um, I hope you all enjoy this series. If you did, let me know by hitting the like button with a snowball. Um, any questions, comments, statements? I'm going to tell you a secret. There are places in our world. No, let me stop that. Okay. I'm just going to do this so that way it doesn't. I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, but you know what pages I'm missing and in what spot, what version of the timeline it is. Please let me know so I can go back and collect them all. Um, I'm willing to do an episode where I'm, you, we're just reading all four, uh, all three sets of uh, pages. 
maybe get the better idea of the story instead of getting it, you know, mismatched pieces. Uh, if you haven't already, you're welcome to subscribe. And you're always free to share my videos with your friends and family. Let them know what you're watching. Maybe it's something they might get a kick out of themselves and want to watch for themselves. All right. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you did like this series. And until next time, have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye.